All right, YouTube, welcome back to another video with Bobby Hill. Uh, got the Pulsar scope, uh, thermal. I had to send it off, I was having some problems with it, the focus, so I uh, sent it back off over there, uh, Pulsar. They're getting a fix, so I'm gonna take a break for that for a couple days. Uh, right now, got a little side project uh, on my Impala. Got rid of the 64 Impala, got a 1963 convertible, drop top, all right. Bought a bone stock, started putting like the gold touches to it. I put some gold wheels on it. I bought me a gold plate machine, so I started doing my own gold plating. You can see there, uh, just like, just doing like, some little, some little accents there. You know, here and there. There's the wheels. So anyways, today I figured I'd do a little project, do a little painting on this thing. The side trim right here, let me the show The side you. trim right here is black. All right, goes all the way down the side. Gets real thin all the way to the to the back of the front fender. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color I'm going to color match that to uh, the because when the top's down you see a lot of this this uh, aqua so I'm gonna color match it to this aqua which you know the interior is real clean in this car so I have a buddy install the stereo system and uh, we he put some speakers in there and he color matched the grills I thought it looked pretty good so anyways the plan is to color match that little black stripe right here all the way down the car instead of taking the trim off just gonna go ahead and scotch bright it down tape it off tape the whole car off okay I got the paint right here um, gonna shoot it with some some PPG color match I might I might put some flake in there and then I come over let's see I got some uh, I had some maybe okay uh, come over with some some teal some teal candy from house color so i don't know we'll see um uh, might open that up kind of do a little test panel spray test panel on it anyways we'll come back to you after i get this sanded down get the impala get the little stripe sanded down taped off we'll kind of walk you through the stages and uh, we'll see how this turns out stay tuned all right got the first tape stage done got taped off so i can run the scotch spray down it sand it for the panel stick there it is there got both sides like that so uh, we'll get this sanded down okay so we'll get the tape peeled off put some more tape back on and uh, start spraying sanded down uh, the little black stripe it's got the letters taped up that was a pain in the butt but I got it done anyways here we go I'll show you there you have it got the other side done the same way so it's what uh, I did I pulled the tape off after it sanded because some of the edges got crunched a little bit got the other side the letters taped up there Everything's ready to go. I'm gonna get some masking paper put over this, and then we're gonna start uh, mixing some stuff up. We're gonna clean it a little bit with some wax grease remover. Then we're gonna start spraying some color. All right, we got the whole car taped off. All right, kind of used a kind of used a lot of paper there, but hey, it's better getting over spray. The paint on this car is real nice. We got it all taped off right here. You can see there's not a bit of anything showing on the car. We got the whole thing taped off. You know, hey, you know, just. Uh, what five dollars on a, a roll of paper maybe five bucks on some tape that's cheaper than a clay bar getting overspray off so i think it'll do the job we're gonna get this wiped down with some wax and grease remover a little spot we're gonna paint and then we're gonna mix some paint up spray it on there we will show you a little action of that going on ain't really much painting but hey the car needs it so i'm doing it
that's the first coat. Uh, first time spraying PPG. It smells kind of funny. Anyways, we'll come back to you. We're going to get some few more coats on it. The color looks pretty good, though. Looks like it's matching. All right, stay tuned. All right, so I got the uh, base coat laid down. Three coats. I think it covered pretty well. That's the first time spraying that uh, PPG stuff. Kind of moved on from uh, DuPont, but it covered pretty well. A nice little aqua color. So what I'm gonna do now, I got some flakes mixed up right here. They're just some of this uh let's see Daddy Roth flake. Um uh, it's kind of like the mini flake there. So it uh it's gonna get the job it's gonna done. run a little mist coat over. Usually usually I'm pretty heavy on the flake man I like flake. Uh, big flake too. Though. We're gonna use this mini flake. I'm just gonna kind of mist the coat over there, over the aqua. That way, it don't cover it up too much. Then I'm gonna come back and I think I'm gonna put two coats of teal candy over that. This is to kind of match, match the interior a little bit. But I think just giving a little touch of candy, that teal with the flakes underneath it and the aqua base coat, I think it'll make a pop and it won't be off too much. But it'll kind of give it that little custom touch that the car needs. Like I said or like you saw earlier, all the, the wheels are cold and everything, so, you know, you wanna kinda give it a little low rider touch, you know what I mean? By the hill, that's what I do. I build low riders, kill hawks. So anyways, stick around, we're gonna spray that flake up, spray it up on there, all right? Then we're gonna do the candy. Missed coat of flake on it, but I uh, don't think it's gonna be enough flake. He'd probably put another coat of flake on there or heavy the flake up a little bit. There you go. I hope you can see it glistening in there. It needs a little bit more. There you go. You can see it a little bit. And uh, just a little bit, just a little bit more flake. Um, it's gonna help it out tremendously. So we'll get a little bit more flake on there. Let's see how it looks then. All right, I'm gonna kind of spray it on there until I get it to where I think it's perfect for me. All right, okay, so I went on ahead and sprayed a second coat of flake on there. I think it's gonna be just enough. Just wanna put that candy through there in the sunlight. You know, it's just a small, it's almost like the size of a big pinstripe, but it gets real close to, you know, small pinstripe in the front. So I think it's gonna be enough. Take a look. Like I said, I think it's gonna be enough. The next stage is uh, we're gonna we're gonna lay this candy down. So I can't really kind of brush it like I've been doing with these other ones. You know, the candy is real; it's uh, transparent, so you know it's kind of kind of clear. So you got to make one coat all the way down, one coat all the way down the other side. Give you some flash time. Come back, do it again. I think I'm probably gonna run two coats of candy. Uh, it's my plan. See how that looks, and then uh, if it looks pretty good. Go ahead and shoot some clear over it. Get it sealed all in. Bam, let it dry. Take the tape off, see how it looks. I like to use the house color candy, uh, the concentrate. You know, I'll do a little pattern, it's not too many. I just kind of started doing it, but that's what I use there. Uh, so just a little concentrate. Uh, a lot of people like to uh, mix it in with uh, some inner coat clear, but I use the binder. Uh, seems to work pretty good for me. Uh, never had any issues with it, works pretty good works like an intercoat so it is a clear base but uh, it's a little bit cheaper than intercoat too you know I'm doing the backyard boogie here you know professional stuff here I'm kind of self-taught but uh, I think you might be able to see the flake on the base coat a little bit better on this side there you go yeah so yeah I think that's plenty of flake I mean if I was painting a whole car you wouldn't even see no color all you would see is just straight silver boat flake but not doing the car just accenting the trim a little bit all right stay tuned we're gonna spray the candy next all right so 
went on ahead and did three coats of the candy. I was, uh, I didn't really think the, uh, it, the two coats was doing the job, so it was still real, real light. So I went on ahead and did three. It gave it just that right amount of pop, I think. So that's where we're gonna leave it at, three coats. We done gave a flash time in between all those coats. Uh, we're gonna let this flash for a little bit before we put some clear over it. I'm gonna try out this new Tamco. Uh, supposedly everybody's using it. It's really not a big panel to try to test it on, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on there. They said it's pretty good, holds up, it's durable. This is a small trim. We're gonna be pressure washing it. I'm gonna use a pretty good clear on there. So, um, shout out to Tamco. We'll try it out. But yeah, I think it pops pretty good. You'll really see it once I get the clear on it. But uh, yeah, here it is. I think it looks fantastic. So it's really gonna pop whenever we get the clear on there. We'll come back to you after we get. Probably just put like two coats of clear on there. Don't need much, just like I said, a little, little trim. I don't want it too thick where my tape line's gonna be. All right, clear coat coming up. down on this side all right <clears throat> so got the clear on got three coats on it um, turned out pretty good I mean I'm happy with it just for a trim I'll show you what it looks like while I was telling you the candy makes that flake pop all right here you go let's see if you can see it real quick let me uh let me get you down here with the candy all right let's see here oh uh, you see what I'm talking about now uh, that looks good, the candy. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. That was kind of the color I was going for. This gives it a little bit of glow when you're looking at it. You know, like it's plugged in that base. That aqua base did real good on that, uh, with that teal house color candy. So there you go. Uh, we'll let this dry. I might unmask it tonight. Here's the other side. Uh, there you go. Yeah, man, that color turned out nice. Uh, it kind of matches the interior of the car still, um, but you know, it just gives it a little bit of pop with some paint on the outside. Um, I think it did pretty good. Um, that Tamco clear, it's kind of tricky to work with, but um, you know, I'm getting it down. It was the first time spraying the panel of it, so uh, test panel wall for the trim. It's small, but overall, I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, I like that color. I'll let you look at it one more time without the light on it. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but you know it's kind of dead without the light on it. You can still see the flakes in there glistening, you know. But the main thing is, you know, it's kind of subtle. Um, but when the uh, when the sun hits it, bam, looks like it's plugged into the wall there a little bit. So I like it. There you have it. So um, we're done with this project with painting it anyways. I gotta add some more trim parts. Like I said, I've been gold plating stuff on myself. I got a few more parts to gold plate. And then after that, um, man, it's just gonna be ready to cruise, you know? It's a Sunday cruiser. Not gonna really do too much else to it. Um, but I don't know, you never know. Uh, I've already started, I got the grill chrome plated. Got the other pieces coming in, you know, cause I chrome all my parts out. Especially the body moldings. Um, I like the shiny stuff. So anyways, thanks for watching this video, man. Like I tell you, if you want to see more uh, outdoor videos or uh, low rider videos, hot ride videos, whatever, you know, I'm always kind of doing the backyard boogie on this stuff. Uh, just that way you can watch the everyday average Joe can do this in his garage. All right. All you need is uh, the proper safety equipment. Get the, man, I used a little uh, touch up gun from Harbor Freight to do this little job. You don't need this, no big fancy high dollar, five or $600 gun. I think I paid like 20 bucks for that gun, 30 bucks or something like that. It did the job what I needed to do. Probably wouldn't paint a whole car with one, but uh, there's, a, there's a few other guns you can do that. Uh, spend a little bit more money, get a little bit better gun, but I think it turned out pretty good. Anyways, like I said, hit the subscribe button if you want to see some more. Uh, give me a like. If you got any comments on how this what went down in this video or anything I could have 
did better, you know, in my garage, all right, drop a uh, comment in the box. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and put um, a link in, uh, in the description box below on the gun that I used and maybe some of the uh, house of color paint and maybe Tamco, I don't know if you can get that stuff on Amazon, I'm gonna look, but like I said, through my Amazon link, you can go and uh, for sure get the little paint gun. I think it's like, it's no more than 30 bucks, I think. It might be 40 now, but that was about a year ago when I bought it. So if you like the gun, the way it came out, the candy, you know, click on the Amazon link below, get you one order. Thanks for watching, Bobby Hills Outdoors and Low Riders. All right, so there I go. Got the paper all pulled off of it. Had a little bit of overspray here and there uh, with the tape, it kind of bled through the tape a little bit. But I got that uh, off with a little bit of mineral spirits. Came right off. Uh, other than that, I think it turned out pretty good. I like it. Um, I mean, it made a big difference. Not a big difference, but it's a noticeable difference. It's nice when you color match this little bitty, the little stuff, you know. You see that? It's hard to see. You can really see it. Um, you can probably really see it real good in daylight. So. There you go. Looks pretty good. It's going to kind of access the gold pretty good. So there you have it. It's flaked out a little. Got a little candy over the top of it. Like I said, overall, I think it's pretty good. So, anyways, there you have it. I'm done with this little small project. I started on the... Uh, about six o'clock and I think it's 10 45 now almost 11 so I'm gonna get this closed up I'm gonna let it uh I'm, I'm actually gonna put the heaters on it and I let it bake I don't have any heaters dude I'm painting in a garage okay I'm gonna pull it out in the sun tomorrow let it bake all right and then we're gonna ride this weekend it's not raining so it used to I used to paint stuff in the morning they'd be riding that evening but we're not gonna do that we're gonna let it let the sun bake on it for a day or so and then I think it'll be be all right okay thanks for watching